Do you get a pinching sensation in your shoulder when you go to lift your arm or maybe some tightness? More than likely you have shoulder impingement. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you an orthopedic test that you can do yourself to confirm whether you have it or not. If this test is positive, then you need to make sure that you follow the exercise program I'm about to show you. But make sure you stay till the end because I have an amazing video showing you exactly what is being pinched or creating that tightness. The orthopedic test that you need to perform is called empty can test. You're gonna bring your arm up to about 90 degrees at a 45 degree angle. Then you're gonna point your thumb down like you're emptying a can, hence empty can test. Now, depending on how severe the injury is, you might already start to get an uncomfortable sensation here. If you do, don't move on to this next portion. Consider it a positive test. But if you don't have pain in this position, you're gonna take your hand, apply pressure to the opposite hand and push up. Now, if that is painful, then you have a positive empty can test indicating that you have unfortunately shoulder impingement. But the good news is I know exactly what you need to do. Let me show you. The first part of this routine is gonna be a nice little stretch. You're gonna lay on your side. You will need some type of pillow or um, using a pad for neck support so you don't feel like you're having to lift your head the whole time. You're gonna bring your knees up towards your chest as high as you possibly can. Bottom hand is gonna grab those knees and hold them in place. It's very important your knees stay in one spot. From there, you're just gonna reach as far as you possibly can rolling and reaching, getting that stretch next to the shoulder blade. And then from there, you're gonna pull back, hand is gonna go on your own chest, and then you're gonna drop your elbow along your side. I do not want your elbow going behind you. Keep that elbow along your side and then pull back. You should feel a really good stretch throughout your rib cage. You're gonna go back and forth 10 times, making sure that you really pull that chest back as far as you possibly can and enjoy that stretch. If you feel it in your lower back, that means your knees are way down here and that's just gonna not serve you any good. So make sure those knees are up and go back and forth. These next two exercises are gonna be a mix of mobility and strengthening. You're gonna need a blank wall and a band. You're gonna sit up against the wall with your knees bent. Get that butt back as far as you possibly can. Didn't wear the right pants for this today. Then you want your mid back touching and your head. Make sure that your chin is not up in the air. Bring that chin down. You should start to feel a stretch in this position. That's a good thing. This is where the mobility portion is. Keep that position. Then you're gonna place your elbows on your knees and then hands inside the band. From here, you're just gonna drive your wrist out against the band until they're in line with your elbows. And then you're gonna go back and forth 10 times with both hands. Then you're gonna do 10 with just one hand and then 10 on the other. It's very important that you don't try to overdo it. You don't let your knee, your elbows come off of your knees and stay nice and tall the entire time. After you do 10 with both hands and 10 on each hand, you're gonna hold that position and then you're just gonna lift your elbows a couple inches off of your knees and come back down. It's very important that your elbows don't pass your shoulders and that you, when you go to lift, your elbows don't kick out. Keep those elbows in line with your knees and just go up and down 10 times. You should feel a massive burn on the outside of your shoulder and maybe even a little bit in the middle of your back. Give it a try. As you can see in this diagram, when you go to lift your arm, your shoulder blade actually has to rotate upwards. Well, yours isn't doing that. And that is why you're getting the pinching sensation. So you have your shoulder blade and you have your arm bone. And as you lift, they need to work together to keep that joint space the same. When you go to lift, your arm bone is the only one lifting and that's what's creating that jamming sensation or the pinching sensation. This supraspinatus tendon is actually what is getting pinched. So by doing the exercises I showed you, you will solve your problem and have no more pain. If you have any questions for me, drop them down below. I love to help you. Until next time, keep moving and enjoy the rest of your day.